Hey guys, what's up? I am coming at you with another haul. I didn't do a haul for April, mostly just because of how interrupted the month was due to um, just stuff going on in my personal life and with work and with everything. And I just didn't have it in me. I don't think I put up a single video in the month of April, so I do apologize for that but I wanted to start fresh with May. So I do have my Simply Gilded haul from her Shopify release. I do have to say, I think Shopify was better. It was definitely easier for me to use. I did goof, I meant to use Apple Pay and I accidentally went in on Chrome instead of Safari, but I still got pretty much everything I wanted except for the 15 millimeter candy bows and the purple, that like purple mist bow washi, which I'm not terribly torn up about because purple isn't my favorite color to begin with. And I don't know, it's just like, it was, it was an okay bow, but I'm not like terribly torn up about it. So I did, I was able to get the 10 millimeter candy bows, which I'm excited about. I'm looking forward to eventually getting my hands on the 15 millimeter, but now this is one less thing I have to try to snag next time. I think she said she was gonna do a pre-order for these, which is fine, um, then I can have them for next spring. So I'm sure you guys have seen these a million times over. The mint has gold and then the other three have hollow and yeah, I do actually use the 10 millimeter bows quite a bit. I feel like the 15 millimeter are way more popular. Um, and I get that because they're easier to use on bottom washi, but I like pairing these um, in the sidebar or like running, like if I'm overlapping with like bottom washi that comes with the kit, I do use a 10 millimeter washi almost every week in my sidebar. So I have quite a collection of the 10 millimeter bows. I actually have some 10 millimeter bows that I don't have the 15 millimeter in for whatever reason, um, like the pink and gold, I don't have like the original pink and gold Simply Gilded washi, I don't have in the 15 millimeter, but I have in the 10 millimeter. I don't know why, but you know. So then I also got the white and champagne gold and I feel really silly because I realized that I also ordered this on pre-sale. So I do have a um, friend IRL who's also into planner stuff and I think she wants this. So I'm going to I think swap something that she got from like her Easter, she got one of the Easter baskets and there was one, I forget which one it was, but there was a bow I didn't have that I think I'm gonna trade with her for those. And then I did pick up the florals. I actually unwrapped this one today to use it. Um, these are just so pretty. Um, I'm not a big fan of the polka dotted bows, which may be like heresy, but I do really like the floral bows. I've intentionally not ever picked up a polka dotted bow. I think they're kind of ugly, <laughs> um, but I know it's like one of those to each their own things. Um, I just have never really been wild about the polka dots. Nah. So, but I am loving the floral. And then I got the pink butterfly with the rose gold. I also ordered the purple one in the pre-order. And then I don't know, she must have only listed a few of these, but this is the Twilight um, from Galaxy 2.0. And I'll show you the difference. It's actually pretty similar to 1.0. Um, so I, this is 1.0 and then this is 3.0, which I haven't used. I've used this quite a bit, um, which you can't tell from looking at it, but it's one of my, it's probably the fav my favorite washi out of all the washies I have is probably this one. This one is really similar. If I can get it open. I actually, when I like first opened it, I was like, did I buy, like, did I duplicate <laughs> one that I already had? Um, this is probably like giving someone anxiety that I'm opening. This is like a holy grail washi for so many people. Like everyone is obsessed with Galaxy. Like, I'm just, I don't care. I like open my washi, I use it. Washi doesn't last forever. Just in case you were wondering, washi does go bad. <laughs> like the adhesive will start to stick to the paper underneath and then it will transfer and then it won't be sticky anymore. And then the top will feel like fuzzy and weird because there's adhesive on top of the washi paper, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, it's like a use it or lose it. So you can see this is like slightly more purpley colored and like just darker pink on top. Whereas this is like a really pale color and then like a kind of like the color of denim and then this is just like a more purple but they're pretty similar and then there's 3.0 i'm gonna just give someone a full-blown heart attack here and open 
Twilight 3.02 while I'm at it. <sighs> Some people get like so anxious about opening these and I'm like, I don't care, whatever. <laughs> I'm like, it's just washy. So let's get this open. I really suck at opening washi. Oh, there's my hair because I shed like a dog. So there, I have my one, two, and three for Twilight. I don't have 3.0 bows, but I have 3.0 Crescent and um, the Constellation one. So, uh, let's, what am I doing? Oh, this is the washi section. I don't have the first washi section, but this is like really pretty. So I picked that up. I thought it was fun. There we go. So that was everything. I still haven't gotten my pre-order in, which is to be expected. I am more than okay with waiting to not have the stress of a pre-order. Um, but I do have to say that I have become a big fan of Apple Pay. It's how I snagged the Scribble Prince Co. anniversary box, um, which was gone in like five seconds. So I, I like how fast it processes. Um, though if you are using it make sure the address in your phone is the correct is like your actual address because I've moved and I didn't update the address like I mean I've moved since last summer like the house and it still had my apartment in my phone in like my information and it changed on Etsy it changed my shipping address to my apartment address even though I had my shipping address saved as like my home address and luckily I was able to message it happened with like two scribble prints co orders and a coffee monsters co order before I realized it and one of them was the anniversary box and I was like I do not want that floating out around like the post office trying to figure out where this goes so Andrea was able to change and Helen too was able to change the address but that was a very stressful 15 minutes <laughs> until I like found out that they could change it I was like oh, I don't want this to like get lost so yeah all right, um, so then I got this really beautiful glam planner kit. Um, I am obsessed with red and blue nautical kits. It's a thing. Um, there was this royal wedding freebie, which I won't be using because the wedding is in May. Um, and then the freebie, the double box, the glitter headers, um, the girls. I am obsessed with these full boxes. I think these are so pretty. I'm just like obsessed. This is my favorite shop. That did this clip art out of all of the shops I saw. I just really love how these boxes look. Um, pretty glitter, like ombre, heart checklists, functional, deco and more functional, headers and icons and sidebar stuff, littles and headers, and then washi. So I am so excited to use this kit. I am just like all about the nautical. I actually have a spot saved already. I already know what week I'm using it in. At least like I have it marked out. I have to like take this apart to put this back in because I have been anticipating this because this was a pre-order so I've been anticipating it for quite a while. But the opening in July that I have in my sticker storage, this is going in. Next I have a boatload of stuff from Scribble Prince Co. And I have the mystery kit, which has these gorgeous, like, white brick subway tile looking um, post-it notes. And then this kit, which is super pretty. I love the pink and gray. So there's the journaling card. And then the freebie, these bows, which I'm going to pull out and put in my multicolor um, the girls, I'm probably gonna save this kit for the fall. I'm thinking maybe like, I don't know, September in my neutral or something. Um, or maybe I'll save it for next spring. But this just doesn't feel summery to me, but that's fine because I usually don't use my mystery kits. Sometimes it's for like a year in advance because I have stuff planned out so far ahead. Um, so I like pretty much expect to not use a mystery kit for quite a while. It's pretty uncommon for me to like bump something. But there we have that. And then I also picked up two of the, um, was it Pool House? Yeah, Pool House post-it notes. I thought these were super fun. One for work, one for home. Y'all know I'm obsessed with post-it notes. 
And then these were the kits I ordered that week. So here are the glitter headers and the freebies. I'm gonna go through this real quick because you guys know the drill with Scribble Prints Co. Um, I think Andrea threw in a double one of those unless that was actually in, I was actually in the first 200 orders, I don't know. Um, I think she re-released re Blush as well, that photo kit. So I got the hearts, or not hearts, those are not hearts, bows for everything. And then there's the freebie. I really have been loving these. Um, I really like those bows, which is surprising. I like, when she first started them, I like didn't know how I felt about them, but now I use them quite a bit. And I've been ordering them every week and I have a little stack of them and they make me very happy. So I have the glitter headers and then the girls for Summer Breeze, which I don't always get the girls, but sometimes I do and I really like those. So this is the Summer Breeze kit, which I am obsessed with, and it was illustrated by Kittenish Girl Plans, um, Jess, who is one of my favorite people in the planner world. So um, I'm like zoomed a little too far in, aren't I? Okay, that's a little better. And I like that Andrea sort of tweaked the colors so it was different than other um, shops. I really love like the cerulean pink, like hot pink. I don't know, I just, I love all of this. So this is like probably, this is like one of my favorite colors in the whole wide world. My phone is blowing up. So you guys know the drill. And I honestly, when I get ultimate kits versus mini kits, it depends whether or not I like this box. And I like that box. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this as a scene or if I would just pick one since it's like a mirror image and I wanted to have that to like, balance it out so we have summer breeze i'm gonna grab the glitter headers that go with this maybe maybe baby all right there we go and then i did get the um mommy lay is that how you pronounce it right the mini kit and i'm totally so like i was saying before my camera battery died i am totally going to copy Andrea and Jess and pull in the yellow tropical simply gilded washi with this. I think pulling in the yellow just will make it so cute. It's like just a really fun kit. I don't know why I just turned that upside down. So I just love these colors. Super fun, super summery, springy, whatever. Just really adorable, cute, fun kit. So. I am excited to use that. That will probably be a main planner one. So let's put the glitter headers with that, otherwise they'll get lost. And then Pool House, which I didn't get any of the like Big Brother-y kind of stuff because I have, if I'm being honest, I've never seen a single episode of Big Brother in my life. I hate reality TV except except for Jersey Shore. Like the original like season of Jersey Shore was just hilarious um but other than that I have never been into a reality tv show and yeah so I don't know why I have this that belongs with that kit um so we have the freebie you know the drill and I mentioned this on Instagram I'm going to be using this the first week of August for Joe's birthday because if you have been watching me since I started doing this three years ago the first video I ever posted on YouTube it's still up if you want to go watch that hot mess um was Joe's birthday spread and it had ducks in it Joe collects rubber ducks which is like it started as a joke that his sister and I were like <laughs> we never knew what to get Joe for birthdays and stuff and so we were like we, Joe needs a collection and then Joe was like I don't want to collect anything and we're like you're going to collect ducks and then it kind of became a thing and he's into it and like the groom's cake at our wedding was a rubber duck like it was a cake but it looked like a rubber duck um so I like associate ducks with him so plus this works perfectly for August colors so for the first week of August or whatever week that August 5th is in, I will be using this super cute kit, which reminds me of Joe because of the duck. So, and plus it has donuts. Donuts are amazing. I really love donuts. A donut would be really good right now. 
I'm not gonna go get one, but now I'm like thinking I love jelly filled donuts. That's like my controversial old person opinion. I feel like no one is like, my favorite donut is a jelly filled donut, but freaking love jelly filled donuts. They are my favorite. On my birthday, I go to Krispy Kreme every year and get like three donuts and two of them are always jelly filled. It's like my birthday thing. I have the day off work and I just eat donuts. So that's, I try to like save donuts for special occasions so I could totally like eat six donuts a day and never get sick of them. But alrighty, so that was everything I had for this week, guys. All right, so from Glam Planner, I ordered just two sheets that were foiled. Instead of getting the whole kit, I got these full boxes because I thought they were beautiful with this holographic um, foil. And then I also got the washi sheet. And I figured, because I did so many like nautical kits that had very similar coloring, that if I saved the scraps, I could use labels and quarter boxes and half boxes and that sort of thing and pull from multicolor to make a spread out of this, especially because I've been doing more white space spreads and I haven't been using the checklists. And it's pretty pricey to get like a full foiled kit from her and I didn't want to spend that much for this kit, but I loved the full boxes. So I figured that would be pretty easy to pull in scraps and multicolor to make this work, but I think it's just beautiful. And then I have just, I'm so excited about this, the Scribble Prince Co four year anniversary bundle, which I was able to ninja and get. I know a lot of people had trouble um, getting it and it sold out super quickly. I um, am so excited I got it. So um, I'm gonna go through the kit first, just because y'all are familiar with the SPC format and then we can jump into all the extras that came with it. So, and here is the kit. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Okay, so we have this um, scribbler sheet with the girls eating ice cream, which is perfect for going into summer. And then there's the freebie and the tall boxes with the girls on them. Um, they're cute, but I don't typically use the girl boxes, but I do think these are cute. So like I said, the freebie and then the deco icons, the functional page, half boxes, quarter boxes, washi and headers, washi little things, heart checklists, beautiful ice cream themed full boxes. I'm probably going to save this realistically for either next April or next May. Um, this probably won't get used for another 11 to 12 months, but that is usually the case with like mystery kits or the sort of anytime kits. Um, did I show those two? Yeah, glitter headers I did. Um, I often don't use them for about a year and I am going to pull this out to put in my um, scribbler stack which is currently sitting on the floor because I need to get another accordion um, and I keep forgetting to pick one up but I do enjoy using the, scrib the scribblers. I especially have been enjoying using them on my monthly spread. I've been doing my monthly spread and my memory keeping as like a sort of like the one to two big things that happen each day. Um, it's just a fun place to use character stickers. So then here are all the extras that came with the kit. And um, on top here is this beautiful Simply Gilded. I think it was like melted ice cream or something, um, but it's silver foil. And then it's a really pretty like pastel rainbow effect. I'm gonna open this, which I'm sure is gonna give someone a heart attack. Um, and a bunch of people were like freaking out and are selling this for like a hundred, like I've seen $180, like people trying to like sell this. Like Andrea has said repeatedly that this washi is coming back and that like this was not the only appearance. So 
If you missed out on this, please don't spend exorbitant amounts of money on the swashy. You will be able to get it again. And I, I mean, obviously I can't tell someone what to do with their money, but um, it's just washi tape. Like it's not curing cancer or making your life significantly better. It's pretty, um, but so it's sort of like a watercolored rainbow effect going on there. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like color scheme wise, if you feel like you're, you missed out on this, it's very, very similar in color, the background color to that, um, which is from the Marble 1.0 collection. Um, and then there's, where is it? It's like a stripey pastel one. I used it with the Love collection. And of course it's probably like, oh, here we go. Um, obviously this is different because it's like sectioned off, but it's the same colors and with the silver. Um, I mean, obviously it's not bow, but it's a similar vibe. And this is rose gold, not silver. But there are other washies that are very similar in coloration to this if you missed out on it and yeah but this is very very pretty so I'm excited to use that I'm gonna stick that in my bow washi stash so then we have all these other goodies here so there's the vinyl die cuts and that was on top of the washi gotta smooth that out um but there's the ice cream truck and the camera I might use one of these over the bottom washi in the corner do something fun with that and then there was like a little foiled business card because I knew you I have been changed for good which is a quote from Wicked and I think that's really cute that that's like sort of the quote that she decided to put with this kit there are the post-it notes, which y'all know I love post-it notes, so I'm excited for those. There's Coffee Monsters Co. die cuts, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of Helen, so I might laminate these and make these into like paper clips or bookmarks. I did buy, um, oh, and that's cute, the ice cream for ice cream. Um, I did buy like a cheap little 3M laminator for laminating, that sort of thing, and then I've promptly forgotten to ever do anything about it. Um, there's a fox and cactus journaling card, which I honestly think is cuter than like the one that, that matches the kit. Like I think this is really adorable. And then there's the rose colored days foil overlays in silver. Once more with love ice cream checklists and then little ice cream munchkins. It's never too cold for ice cream. And then wonton and a million, which I actually don't have. I think I have a wonton and a million and once more with love collab sheet. But other than that, I don't have any other um, wonton. Okay, so this is just like information about her shop, but there's a cute little like wonton ice cream character sheet. So all cute stuff from great shops. So yeah, I am super excited to stick all this stuff in my like character sheet stash. I'm totally going to be using these. I, I actually don't have any ice cream stickers and there's been so many times I've wanted ice cream stickers. Like especially with the s'mores blizzard being back. I feel like Joe and I get ice cream every other week. So I'm going to be using some ice cream stickers. So that was everything that I had to share with you guys for right now. All right. So I have a absolutely huge pile of stuff to go through for the back half or back two thirds of May. Cause I haven't sat down to film any kind of haul bits, um, like since the very beginning of the month. So the first thing I have on top here is, out of its package already, but it came with this cute little journaling card and Helen wrote a little note to me. Um, I actually already pulled these out to use some of them, but these are obviously from the Coffee Monsters Co. And so she had some really cute new drink emojis. So I had to pick those up and then the no bra day was perfect. Sleep in, these cute drink stickers, no pants, 
um, more film edit upload stickers because I'm pretty much out of all of the ones that I have. Ice cream stickers and car stickers because with summer coming up and the s'mores blizzard being back at Dairy Queen, y'all know I'm going to be getting ice cream. So, um, the next thing, I don't even know, like, what order. Oh, I'm going to, like, do everything that's not Scribble Prince Co. first because I have a big old Vulcan stack. This is all Scribble Prints Co. So on top here, I have an order from Station Stickers and Station Stickers has quickly become like a new favorite of mine. I The first kit I ordered from her was the Slytherin kit and I loved it so much and I have just really fallen in love with her kits. I have been trying not to duplicate um, clip art which so sometimes if I get it from Scribble Prints Co like I'm not going to pick it up from station stickers though I did the kit that on Scribble Prints Co is Jessica she re-released it with the new ultimate kit and I did pick that up today because I will say the one thing with station stickers like I love the parts that are foiled but like the rest of the kit like I'm not super like I like the labels and stuff but I'm not super wild about like like I could do without the rest of that, like if that makes sense, you know, like I get it because these full boxes and the icons and the washi are just so pretty. <laughs> the foil is just so gorgeous. So um, I just thought this was really sweet. I have a couple photo kits. I don't think I've actually used any of them, but I do have some planned for this summer. So there's glitter headers um, and then like normal headers, little things, and then the washi. So like a much like smaller kit. It's definitely pared down compared to Scribble Prints Co. When I did the um, Slytherin one, I pulled in a bunch of, I wanna say like either March or like old December, whatever the green, there was like some green that I pulled in from old, old Scribble Prints Co. monthly stuff from like two and a half years ago. So, the next thing I have here is the Glam Planner Monthly, which I don't I don't know how I've been feeling. Like I feel like Glam Planner Monthly is very hit or miss for me. So there were these post-it notes, which I'll probably just give away. Um, I feel like her extras are usually the thing that are like I like when she does. Oh, my phone is like blowing up. Um, when she does like post-it notes that match the kit, but I'm not like a big fan of like the kawaii kind of like extra stuff. Um, so I mean, it's like a cute kit, but I always struggle with like these more neutral kits. Like when do I use it? Or like this isn't necessarily color neutral. It's pretty like neutral, like pale pinks and stuff, but it doesn't scream like, oh, this time of year is when I'm supposed to use it. And I feel like these are the kind of kits that end up just sitting in my collection for two years. Cause I always want to use like a very like seasonal or like holiday specific kit so there are the full boxes it's like a roman holiday you have like the canals from venice um it's like roman would be rome like an italian holiday sort of thing um really pretty heart checklist which i don't really use too too much anymore um half boxes deco Honestly, like, I'm not super wild about this. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not, like, an ugly kit, but I'm just not, like, crazy about it. Maybe I'll, like, get brave and, like, try a one of the BTS. Like, I think she has a Glam Planner BTS. I'm sure someone would really love this kit, but I feel like this just isn't. I'm not, like, wild about it, so I think I might let that one go. But then there's, like, some of her kits that I'm, like, crazy about in her monthly subscription, so I'm, like, afraid to... I don't know. Ooh, that's foil versus ultimate kit. She's foiling that. That's cool. Ooh, I never thought I'd see anything come out of <laughs> Scribble Prints Co that was foiled, but color me, even if it's just the sticker on the, the label thing, color me wrong, surprised, whatever. So this is like the first time I'm actually touching the new kit format, which makes me real happy. So the little freebie is just the munchkins on their own little square. And then you have the full boxes and I'm probably gonna save this for fall. You have the deco 
um, the work, like a lot of the stuff that used to be on the freebie, some cute labels. I like that there's so many book things in this now, especially as a librarian, and I spend so much of my time at home reading. I really appreciate that. Um, and then there's the new icons, which I love these kind of icons, and then the standard, like her old school ones are like from here over, and then she has some new ones, which I like that there's a doctor one, especially when Joe has like multiple on call nights. I've been using like my foiled ones, but in kids when I'm not using foil, I like having options. Does she still have the other doctor icon? No, because there used to be like a doctor icon on the freebie. Like there was like a stethoscope cutout. Um, so I'm guessing that kind of replaces that. So you have the extra full box, the half boxes. I swear when I plan with these for the first, like the first few times, I'm gonna be like, oh wait, this sticker was in here. Like I'm gonna pull something out of multicolor and then realize halfway through the week that it exists. I'm like obsessed with these book labels. I feel like Andrea like made that just for me. I know she didn't, but like it feels like that's exactly what I would have wanted in a kit and it makes me so happy. Um, so you have washi, you have patterned labels, which I love labels like that. So I love that there's more of them. And then the heart checklists, the bottom washi, more patterned washi and um, headers, which I don't use terribly often, but they're super cute. And I wanted to like pick up the ultimate kits because it's like new and exciting. And I want those, all of the book things this is pretty snug. I feel like the the ultimate kit in this is like, oh, it's a little tight. It's like not impossible, but it's just, I'm used to the bigger, the bigger things. And then I did get this, which like I am unsure about the deco. I feel like this, I'll probably end up pulling in some like foiled rose colored days headers because the deco for this has a lot of red in it. I'm not sure how I feel about like the red poppies, which like that is in like Wizard of Oz Wicked sort of thing. But I freaking love Wicked. I love the books. I love the musical. I love everything about it. So I had to get this kit. Like it is a very, I remember Andrea saying it would be like a very like person specific kit, but I freaking love Wicked. Like when it opened in Columbus for the first time, I got with my mom, we got the two like center seats um, on like the, was it mezzanine or whatever, like the first row of that, which in that playhouse are like the best seats in the house. I bought them like the, within like a minute of the tickets going up on opening night and it was a magical experience. Um, obviously I could not go see it in Broadway, but when it like traveled, it was, it was just such a good musical. Um, and I've like listened to the, the soundtrack like 8,000 times. So we have the full boxes and I'm just gonna like go through this pretty quickly now that I've already gone over all of my thoughts on the additions and improvements and changes to the kit. I like that one. I like love that there's patterns on the back of those. And I think that like floppy disk is super funny. I'm like gonna completely like I'm looking at these but I know I'm gonna like forget what icons are actually there so like yeah I wasn't sure about incorporating the red with this in terms of deco but I think I have a lot of header colors that would work beautifully with this kit like bring some foil to the party it's gonna be a good time all right so now I get to like try to shove this back inside here this is not going well Mm. All right, Ugh. that is definitely snug. I'm guessing the mini kits are probably easier to slide in because they're not such a tall stack of stickers. And then I also got the ultimate kit of this, which I actually, I, I, I've talked about this before, I hate polka dotted washi. Like I just don't, the, the polka dot bow washi, I don't like it, but I almost got it just to use with this kit. This would be the only time I would have ever used it. And then I was like, why am I gonna buy washi that I'll use like one roll once? Um, but I digress, I freaking love this kit. So there's the um, munchkins and then I, just everything about this, like, even though I like live an all black everything lifestyle now, I went to like Miami, which is also known as J. Crew U. Like I had a Vineyard Vines whale on my laptop. 
I freaking love vineyard vines like even though I just wear black everything now I just I have a soft spot in my heart for like super preppy things so um I'm all about this aesthetic even though that is not what I wear for the most part anymore and I love these colors like seafoam and pink and blue and this is just this kit is everything and this is the perfect kit and I'm definitely going to be bumping something this summer so that I can use this in my main planner which um actually now that I'm saying like this summer it's June I keep forgetting to order my planner for July and I don't have any planners that go past the middle of the year because I did 12 month planners starting in July so I didn't really think that through I keep forgetting I like didn't even pay attention to like the launch date for for Erin Condren this year I just couldn't like get excited about it I know that sounds like sad but I just there weren't really any changes and I just like wasn't super like as pumped and excited and hype as I've gotten in the past so now that we've gone through all of those new things which were probably okay and then there was that and this I'm guessing went with it too I think <laughs> this is like everything got all mixed up sitting on top of my desk so these are completely out of order yeah okay so the freebie which I really like the lettering on that and then the little other freebie I got the bows because I am obsessed with these things I love it and then this goes with the monthly there's the journaling card, which I love. And then I got the glitter headers and I got the Oxblood glitter headers for that kick. So I think I'm gonna use it in the fall. I got both because like I felt like I might use this stuff in the spread and then obviously for Wicked. So I will, I don't know how I'm gonna fit another sheet of stickers. Normally I put the glitter headers in with the kit, but I honestly don't know how that's gonna fit in there. Um, we'll see if I can slide another sheet in and then this is the monthly which I forgot to order a June monthly so like oopsies um I went to go film my June monthly when I before I not film but like do it before my first week in June like the May June split week and then I even like went on Etsy and search and I was like oh crap I never ordered a June kit so I have my July one, which has pretty bloomsicle artwork. I love this bloomsicle, like her tropical stuff is some of my favorite clip art of all time. So of course I am down to use a different iteration of that clip art in this pretty kit. And I really like the new format and there's the little bows and then this. So everything is all pretty. <sighs> all right, let's get this back in there and jam it on in All right. so there's that and then I don't even know like what okay we're just gonna go through kits and then I think these are all like glitter headers and bows and like extras so we'll just go through these kits and then go through that okay so this is like a different colorway of the New York City kit which I just love the aesthetic of it um, I've never been to New York City but I loved the kit the first time it came out I like never even noticed that these sheets weren't the same size is that like sad considering how many kits of hers I've used I don't know but I love this just as much now as I did in like the fall color scheme of this. Like I just, it's so pretty. I'm probably going to end up bumping something else to use this at some point. Like how could I not use this? It's just gorgeous. And I'll probably cut that bottom washi in half. I don't know which half I would use, but I have plenty of bow washi options that I could pair that with. So I am very excited about that. I love me some Scribble Prince Co. Um, and then this is another kit that 
I am definitely going to want to use, I'm guessing in July or maybe August. This could be pretty like with the yellow dots or it's different. It's different in the, the new one. I forget what the pattern is. I don't know. But the yellow, whatever, that could be pretty. Like pull in the pops of yellow from like that and there's like some hints of yellow in there. But I will probably, this feels like a main, a main planner kit to me. I just need like six planners. <laughs> That's what I need like every month to have like eight weeks. That would solve my problems. Can the week, can the year just be like 104 weeks instead? That would work. Um, and then this kit is super pretty. So we have the full boxes and this feels like it could be a June or a July kit. I might, I don't know. I love this bottom washi. I think that's just so pretty. So there's the mini kit of is it Palm Springs. Yeah. All of these are just so pretty. Like I, Ooh, I need to get back on my memory keeping game because I am just like so behind in planning. I have all these kits I want to use. This feels very much like the color scheme of that kit that Kirsten like did and I love this and if anyone is like a tone it up girl I feel like this kit would be perfect for like the end of the bikini series or like some sort of whatever it's like the tone it up colors and it says beach babe that's what I was thinking when she said that I was like that would be so perfect for someone like doing the bikini series um but yeah this kit is just beautiful and oh, I need I seriously am like all about this and then the planner moon kit which will probably realistically not get used until either September or next April but it was really cute and it's sort of an anytime kit. Um, I'm not a super huge Sailor Moon fan. I used to like watch it sometimes if it was on Cartoon Network when I was at my grandparents' house. Like I have vague memories of it, but I never was a hardcore watcher of Sailor Moon. Um, I just liked the 90s girl like aesthetic and the Game Boy stuff. I will definitely be using that box um probably like instead of I don't know maybe like one of the room scene or so I'll pick some I don't know but I'll be using that because I love my Game Boy I have my Game Boy pocket like right behind me it's green and it has Pokemon stickers on it that have been on it since like 1998 and the stickers are still there so those are like some magic stickers and then I have all the extras and notepads and doodads. Okie dokie, dominokie. So there's the journaling card. We have the bows that go with... This might have been a kit that I didn't get. Sometimes I'll get the bows for the kits I don't get. Um, and then the extras, and yeah, I didn't get that. Whew. Yeah, so here our bows for, I guess, all of the kits. Oh, it looks like, did Andrea stick? Andrea probably stuck an extra one in there for me, unless this was like the 200, first 200 order, I don't know. Um, and then the notepads, and these are gorgeous. <laughs> you guys know that like notepads and sticky notes are my favorite stationary like item, period, end of story. So I'm super excited for that, and I'm just gonna stick the glitter hutters with their respective things. I have like a pile of bows that are currently on my floor because I need to get another accordion from when I finally organized. So I have like 12 piles of stickers sitting on my floor and they've been there for like a month. So oops. Um, another one of the journaling cards. And then more bows. I didn't get the Mean Girls one. I just get overwhelmed by that much pink. So these were all of the bows and it looks like she either stuck in a second one or that was the 200. I don't, I don't remember. It's been so long. These things have all just been sitting on my desk. Um, I did pick up both the silver and gold version of 
the like Simply Gilded Bow Washi stickers. And then the glitter headers for the um, Planner Moon and the Beach Babe kits. And then, oh, I'm so excited for this post. Like, Andrea showed me pictures of like all of these like post-it notes and notepads like months ago. Like, it was so long ago. And I have been anxiously awaiting all of these. So I am like so pumped to finally have them in my hand. Oh my God. This one is just so pretty. Oh, I just, I love the colors of this. Like this is just so, so pretty. And like sitting out on a desk, like even like at work or something, I don't know, it's just, they're so pretty. So I have bows and the freebie and then the sand, which I love the texture of that for like the glitter headers that it's like sand. I think that's really cool. And then the glitter headers for New York and then more bows. So I'm like up to my, you can see like how thick the bow stack is. That's like crazy. I love my bows. So that is actually everything for the month of May. I finally got through it all. Yeah, I have like a bunch of these floating around here. So Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.